about 100 people out today at two different locations planting 100 trees to mark the 100th anniversary of Ernst & Young EY being in San Antonio. And part of the Ernst & Young culture is giving back as well as, uh, you know, as my shirt says, creating a better working world. And that's just not only in the business field, but out in the, in the environment and improving, you know, sustainability, the social environment within our communities. So it all really started because we were thinking about a meaningful way that we could celebrate our 100 year anniversary um, of EY being in the San Antonio market. We got connected with the Big Green and through Big Green to Gardopia and it, it was just the perfect match. With Gardopia Gardens, we were partnered with Mary Hepperts as well as Winston Intermediate School of Excellence. And we've worked together on the design for this fantastic uh, 100 trees to celebrate our 100 years in San Antonio. What we hope that students and, the, and their families and the broader community gets out of the food forest is an understanding about, about where their food comes from, making sure that families and children understand that, that good and healthy food can be available to them if they're willing to put in a little bit of effort to begin to grow it at home. This is a small part of a much greater plan here at WISE. Many children um, who, who struggle uh, academically or maybe socially, we find that when they come out into the garden and they're working in nature and they're getting their hands in the dirt and they're able to pick something they've grown, that that has a lot of value to them. And so one of the things that we hope to do is continue to expand our gardening options. We would like to ultimately begin to include the families and the community here, have work days for them to come in. So everybody can understand that, that these gardens are their gardens, it's a community garden. My hope for the scholars here at Hubbard's Elementary is that they will see that you can be sustainable and you can produce for yourself. And if you nurture and take care of things such as plants and creatures and human beings, that we can make the world a better place because that's the big message that we try to spread across our community, across the district, across the nation, and across the world because we go to world conferences as well. And so really and truly just trying to sp spread the message and that they can understand that you can do great things and we can help our environment by also planting plants, nurturing them, and that they can have a love and ownership of that so they can have voice and choice as they get older and become members of our society. They can contribute to our world. I kind of like about gardening because I get to see them grow a lot. Picking the fruit actually because I get to use a ladder and I get to like jump on the ladder and just like grab it. So one of the things uh, we want to, we always try to instill in her is to, to give back to the community, uh, to give back to family and friends. Uh, so I think this is going to be a good opportunity for her to, to, to practice community service. But not only that, uh, just like I still come here visit my mom, we're going to be coming back years to come and seeing these trees grow. We're just, it's going to be a good memory, a memory as a family and a memory as what we're doing for this community as well. We're really happy that we've been able to be a part of this you know great project here today and we're, we're looking forward to continuing to work with these schools and to come and visit with our with our trees and with the students and and help their continued learning.